Hi Taurus, this is your reading with me for September 2020. So I'm really excited because we're going to be using tarot cards, also the pendulum. So if you have a question, keep it in your mind and in your heart. <laughs> and I'm also going to be using charms as well. So definitely do stay tuned for that. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be a good vibe. Uh, so let's uh get started by the way i do want to mention as well this is for sun moon rising and venus signs if you'd like to win a free reading with me do check out the description box below since i do a giveaway every single month if you would like to purchase a private paid reading with me information will also be down below as well they're done within 24 to 48 hours everything is in the description box if you'd like to um, purchase any of my intention bracelets or items, they're on my Etsy store. They are handmade and meditated with. They're sage. They're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. And uh, yeah, I'm wearing the yin and yang bracelet, which is to do with mutual harmony and balance. And then I'm also wearing the law of attraction bracelet as well. So if you are interested in these or you want to see the reviews and see how other people have seen results, please do check out my Etsy shop link. Um, that will be in the description box below. And and then you can click on it, you can go there, check out, you know, all the items that are on there, bracelets, necklaces, crystals, etc. And uh, you can check out the reviews and also international shipping on everything. All right, so let's get started. Taurus. Okay, do you know what's really interesting is in the Virgo reading, we had the Hierophant which of course is the Taurus Major Arcana. And in the Taurus reading, we've got the Virgo Major Arcana. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo and a Virgo could be dealing with you. It's really interesting how that's happened, but also just wanna like keep in mind that it's not you know necessary. It's not necessary that that could be happening because of course we have got Virgo season in September as well, because of course it's Virgo season. <laughs> so you've got the Page of Swords here. You've got the Queen of Wands and also the Nine of Pentacles. There's a sense of independence here that you are taking aboard. It's almost like, you know what? I want to make my own decisions. I want to live my own life. I don't want to be under the influence of anyone. But I really feel here, you know, there's that sort of like energy of you just wanting to do your own thing and you wanting to put maximum effort into sort of building your life up. Page of Swords here also shows that it's sort of like you're going on an adventure. It's like a new chapter, a new journey. This is a really great month for you to spend really in your own energy. I know that sounds really, really crazy, but I do feel, you know, with this sort of hermit energy is that the more you perhaps try and do by sort of, you know, it's good to go out don't get me wrong, it's good to go out, but also you have to have that balance where you're also staying with your own energy, right? Because the more energy you give to other people, in balance, you should also be giving to yourself. That's how the balance happens, right? So it's just something that I am seeing here. It's a great, great, great month to spend, uh, to spend with, you know, friends and family members, but also with yourself, Taurus. Like, I definitely feel like that's really important here because... Yeah, there you go. See, King of Pentacles, Taurus energy as well, right? This will prove to you more of your stability. It will give you more of this happiness and more of this um, fulfillment. The King of Swords here shows that um, in this month, you may be quite blunt, okay? So if you are having communication with someone, you might be like, you know what? No, I want it this way. It has to be this way. This is what I want. This is what I'm doing. You can't change my words otherwise you are going to feel very independent in the month of September, but be careful because you might hurt someone with your words, okay? Um, I'm just saying, I'm just seeing that, all right? You might hurt someone with your words unintentionally and they might decide, you know what? I'm done with you. No, you can't do that. Um, you can't, you know, say things like that because, uh, you know, they, they may just not like it. So I'm just, I'm just saying, okay? You may feel so defensive, like, no, I need to live life on my terms, but then in the process, you may end up losing some people from your life who actually might try to help you all right so I'm just I'm just saying it's it's a vibe and it's oops sorry that's really loud it's an energy that is coming through is that your words could cut very deep and you may regret it later on with certain people like some people are not a loss to lose but there are there's a couple of people here that could end up you know leaving from your life depending on the words that you choose in this month um, because they might just be like you know what I'm done Okay, so, 
seven of wands okay that's the challenge that's the challenge here being in this high vibrational energy is a challenge because you may just feel like no i need to do things my way I don't want to ever look at things your way and um, it could just really come back and bite you okay I'm just saying okay I'm just saying um, be aware be aware okay with tarot we can change things around I would say being diplomatic is is a good thing to do um, but yeah anyways it's just it's what I'm seeing here your words can be very blunt um, but the nine of pentacles here shows that you have a lot of confidence and independence to sort of just go out there and, and do what you want. Um, there's this energy here also in regards to your finances. The knight and the king of pentacles here shows that there could be a big investment here happening in September. So you may feel that you are putting a huge chunk of your finances towards something. Perhaps you're moving, perhaps you are changing careers. Um, it could also be a gain, but I'm also seeing you invest it into something. So it can be a bit of a struggle financially to do other things as well um, we've also got the lovers here okay so the lovers here shows that there is some something about love that's going round and round and round and round in your mind and um, it's quite interesting because you still have that hermit there you're doing a lot of thinking and wondering and reflecting but I also feel like you're trying to cover it up with some social aspects you may be spending a lot more time in the outdoors trying to sort of you know run from some of this I will just say, be careful, okay? The chariot there is uh, Cancerian energy, which is quite interesting. It's that mother-like energy. Ooh, yin and yang energy as well. I know they're the two sphinx, but, you know. Shout out to the yin and yang energy. Hmm, mutual harmony and balance. There's a singular energy that's coming through here. But you also have the lovers, okay? So them, some of you that are single, you're perhaps thinking about past connection. Oh, no. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Let's just do that again. Okay, there we go. As I literally ruined the entire spread. Um, uh, Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Empress. The Empress is ruled by Libra and Taurus because... No, well, Empress is Venus and Taurus. No, sorry, Libra and Taurus, because Venus rules Libra and Taurus. There we go. Okay, so Empress here is this energy of, like, you wanting the best for yourself, right? You literally wanting the best for yourself. Ace of Cups also shows that as well. You want the best for yourself in all walks of life. I'm just saying, but I feel like, you know, that sort of dominant energy of wanting to be independent, wanting to be, you know, is um, something to to be proud of, for sure, um, but be careful with your words, I'm just, I'm just saying that. Queen of Cups here shows that, you know, you're a good person, you're not a bad person at all. Um, Queen of Cups really does show that you, you know, you're really coming into your energy and your emotions, something could really be flooding in, like you might just feel like, whoa, this is a lot, you know, you might, your emotions might just come suddenly very flooding in, so just be aware of that, especially with the chariot, there's some form of travel that can take place here as well. Um, as we're seeing also with the Knight of Pentacles, but do you see that you're a little bit slow to do some things here in September, whether that's perhaps organising or sort of, um, uh, you know, telling people how you feel as well. Okay, so let's ask the pendulum. So if you have a question, okay, um, go ahead and ask. Oh, it's, it swayed a little bit on um, no way and then it went to definitely. Uh, so you may be a little bit indecisive um, in this month, but that was a definitely. Okay, and let's get some charms. Okay, interesting. So Taurus is ruled by the throat chakra, right? So you've got here the blue crystal with the moon. Okay, so the moon, of course, really does represent um, this sort of chariot energy because, of course, we know that um, Cancer is sort of the moon energy and uh, you've also got this green potion which is the heart chakra potion now you've got the lovers as well which I don't really talk about but again there's something in regards to love that's really on your mind and uh, it's almost like you're going back and forth back and forth you're thinking is it worth it is it not is it worth it is it not I feel like you're going to regret this okay in the future um so I personally I feel like the best thing here is to buy time 
stick true to what your needs and your wants are, but there's something in regards to love where you're really thinking about it, but perhaps you're being a little bit stubborn in regards to it, and you're only really thinking about yourself, whereas this person could actually be very good for you. Um, it's very interesting that that's coming through here. If you're single, it's a great time um, to sort of just, uh, well, it's, it's your choice as to what you want to do, but um, I think it's a, it's a good time to really sort of evaluate you know, even sort of like the past and any, perhaps any baggage that you carry with you. So yeah, that's the heart chakra. Um, this is your intuition. You may feel very confused, indecisive, as we mentioned before. And there's something to do with like the fall time that's coming through here as well. Perhaps you're looking forward to the fall time or perhaps, um, or autumn time, or perhaps there's something to do with pine cones that could really mean a lot to you. Um, so that's what we've got there for your reading, Taurus. If this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and do take care as well. All right, bye.